Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to show you is how we can use the chain rule to differentiate trig functions which are given to various powers. Okay, And just to remind you very quickly about what the chain rule is, basically if you've got dy by dx it's the same as dy by d something as long as it's times by the same d something over dx. And I've chosen dt in this example here. If they're the same, it's as if they cancel out. And we're left with dy over dx, what we have here. So let's start by looking at number one anyway. Okay, So number one, what we've got is y equals 6 times sine cubed x. Now we can think of this as y equaling 6 times the sine of x, all cubed. And if we're differentiating this, what we do is we think of this now as y equals 6t cubed, where the t is the sine x. So, when it comes to finding dy by dx, we need to use the chain rule. Because dy by dx, as you can see, is dy by dt times dt by dx. Basically, we need to find dy by dt from here, which would be 6 times 3, 18. Drop the power by 1, and you get 18t squared. So that would be 18. And instead of writing t squared, what I'm going to do is replace the t with the sine x. So 18t squared would be just 18 times sine of x, all squared. 18t squared then. Now I've got to multiply it by dt by dx. I need to differentiate what I called t. So t was sine x, and if I differentiate sine x, I get cos x. So basically that's it. Just remains to tidy it up. And sine x all squared would look better if I wrote it as sine squared x. And then we times it with the cos x. Obviously you could write 18 cos x sine squared x. It's going to be the same answer. Now, why did I write this in blue? Well, basically, because normally I would think this and not write this in, okay? And in my next example, I'll show you how we can do it without writing the blue uh, in, all right? And just take you through the way that I think these out. Well, in number two, what we've got is y equals 3 cos to the power 5 of x, which in other words is essentially 3 times the cosine of x, cos x, all to the power 5. So I think of this as y equaling 3t to the 5 then, where t is cos x. So if I was going to find dy by dx, let's just write it in here, dy by dx would be dy by dt, and I've got that y equals 3 t to the 5. So if I differentiate that, I'm going to get 15 t to the 4. So that'd be 15 multiplied by t, t being the cos x. So we've got cos x to the power 4. Now I need to multiply it by the differential of what I called t, and t was the cos x. So if I times by the differential of cos x, which is minus sine x. So put that in there as minus sine x. We need to tidy this up, but we'll do that in a moment. What I'm going to do is just write back in what I was thinking. I was thinking that y equaled 3t to the 5, 3t to the 5, where t was the cos x. So we did dy by dt, which was 15t to the power 4. So that's 15t being cos x to the power 4. 
and then I multiplied it by the differential of what I called t t being cos x so I differentiated that to give me dt dx so when I differentiated cos x minus sin x okay so just tidy this one up and what we end up with is minus 15 so we've got minus 15 and then cos to the power 4 of x and then multiplied by the sine x. Okay, so that was just to demonstrate how I would go about it without writing what you see in blue. Now for number three, this is an interesting one. I've picked this one because it's got a double application of the chain rule in. And you're going to find that you're going to get quite a few of these kind of questions coming along. So what we've got here is y equals 2 tan to the power 4 of 5x minus pi. And we can think of this as 2 multiplied by tan of 5x minus pi all to the power 4. So I'll put that in square brackets there. Now I'm going to do this again without writing the intermediate stages. I'll write them in at the end just so that you can see how I did it but again I'm going to show you how I would generally think this out if I was writing it straight down. Let's just give a little bit of space there so we can fill that in later. But we'll put down here what dy by dx is. Okay so how do I see this? Well I see this as y equaling 2 t to the power 4 where t is the tan 5x minus pi. So first of all I've got to do dy by dt. So if I've got 2t to the 4 differentiate that and I would get 4 times the 2 which is 8, 8t cubed. So I put 8 then we've got t, t being what you see in the square brackets here tan of 5x minus pi and all of that is to the power 3. Okay, 8t cubed then. Now I need to do this bit on the end. I need to differentiate what I called t. I need to find dt by dx for tan of 5x minus pi. The trouble is it's just, just not tan x, it's got this 5x minus pi attached. So to get around this I need to use the chain rule again. I nominate the 5x minus pi to be say u. So I've got to differentiate tan u. Differential tan u is sec squared u. So I'd write down here that this is sec squared of whatever u was, which was 5x minus pi. Alright, put that in brackets. Now I need to times this by the differential of what I nominated u to be, which was 5x minus pi. I need to find du by dx. And the differential of 5x minus pi with respect to x is just going to be 5. Differentiate 5x, you get 5 differentiate the constant pi you get 0 so we end up with 5 attached to the end there so quite a tricky one so let's take you back now to how I thought this out I said that y was equal to 2t to the power 4 where the t was equal to the tan of 5x minus pi so first of all I found out what dy by dt was and that would have been 8t to the power 3. 4 times 2, 8, drop the power by 1, 8t cubed. And there it is, 8t, t being the tan 5x minus pi to the power 3. But then I needed to find dt by dx and t 
wasn't straightforward. It wasn't just the tan of x. It was 5x minus pi. So to get around this problem, what I did was to find dt by dx, I let t equals tan of u, where u was the 5x minus pi. So when it came to finding dt by dx, the bit on the end here, I went for dt by d something, I chose du, I would then multiply it by du again as if they cancelled now and put it back over dx. So dt by du was to differentiate tan u with respect to u would be sec squared u and that's what I wrote in here, sec squared of whatever u was which was the 5x minus pi. Then I needed to times by the differential of what I nominated u to be which was the 5x minus pi. Differential of 5x was 5 and the differential of pi, pi being a constant, goes to 0. So we just got 5 and that's what I wrote on the end. Okay, so hope you've been able to follow that and all we need to do now then is just simplify our answer. We've got 8 times 5 which is going to be 40 as for this tan 5x minus pi all to the power 3, I can write that in as tan to the power 3 of 5x minus pi. And then just finish off with sec squared 5x minus pi. And there you have it. Okay, well, I hope you've been able to um, see how I've done these examples where we do have to differentiate trig functions to various powers. And that brings us now then to the end of this tutorial.